Good evening. We are following breaking news now out of Portsmouth. Police have made an arrest related to the deadly shooting of a 10 year old boy. 31 year old Sean Day Ross has been charged with contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Meanwhile, detectives are asking the public's help in the search for this man, 26 year old Cleon Banks, who they say is a person of interest. The shooting happened on Farragut Street just after six o'clock Friday night. The neighbors caught the terrifying scene of children running from those gunshots on their doorbell camera. 10 on your side's Raven Payne has the latest. The video you're about to see from last night's shooting is only on 10. Almost 20 gunshots ring out as a group of children run away. The tragedy leaving a 10 year old boy dead. But I do have to warn you, the sound of this video might be disturbing to hear. A 10 year old boy was shot and killed in Portsmouth in broad daylight Friday. Around 6.15 p.m., officers were called to Farragut Street for a shooting. When they arrived, they found a 10 year old boy suffering from a life threatening gunshot wound. He tragically died at the hospital. Neighbors say they heard around 20 gunshots going off, telling me there were so many shots they thought an active shooter was in the neighborhood. We dropped to the floor, called the police, and I mean, we told them what exactly we thought we were dealing with, that there was an active shooter going around the neighborhood because we were just hearing shot after shot. Jennifer Dunleavy says they usually hear gunshots in their neighborhood, but there was something about this shooting that scared her more than usual. I think it's really scary because we've lived here a year and we hear shots at night but it was 6 p.m. It was during the day. Chief Jenkins released a statement saying he's met with the mother and extended family of the young boy. He says he's outraged over another young life taken over neighborhood disputes where juveniles turned to guns to settle differences. Community activist Daryl Redmond was at a youth violence prevention gala in Hampton when he got a call about the shooting. He tells me he rushed to the scene seeing a broken community. I saw trauma, I saw hurt, I saw pain, I saw grief. We're talking about a kid, We're talking about a kid who hasn't even started to develop. We're talking about somebody who's supposed to be playing a PlayStation. It's taken away from a family. Police have arrested 31 year old Sean Day Nakisha Ross in connection with the homicide. She's been charged with contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Detectives are now searching for 26 year old Cleon Dante Banks, who is a person of interest in this homicide. He's considered armed and dangerous. And this is still an active investigation. If you know anything about this homicide, call Portsmouth Police or use the P3 Tips app. Raven Payne, 10 on your side.